Very interesting and breaking electric vehicle news is coming from Porsche this morning. Porsche expects to be able to produce electric vehicles with a range exceeding, listen to this, 807 miles, that's 1,300 kilometers in the medium term and this will not involve electric vehicles with solid state batteries, a technology that the car maker is developing. The German car maker believes that optimizing the anode of an electric vehicle is one way to optimize it. Porsche currently uses graffiti as an active anode material built in developing silicon anodes. It says silicon anodes offer up to 10 times more storage capacity and cells with fast charging capability could be charged from 5 to 80% in less than 15 minutes with these new anodes. There is one issue with silicon anodes however. Porsche notes that silicon particles expand by 300% when they absorb lithium, meaning that the service life of the battery would be impaired. Porsche is currently working on anodes made up of up to 80% silicon. Additionally, it is also undertaking intensive work in increasing the proportion of nickel in the cathode, allowing for higher charging capabilities for its electric vehicles. In the medium term, we can expect the combination of new anode chemistry and dense packaging of the cells to allow a vehicle range of 1,300 kilometers, that's 807 miles per single charge. Director of the Helmholtz Institute, Olm, and head of the Energy Storage System Research Unit at the Karlsruhe Institute Technology, Professor Maximilian Fichter said, I think that we will see 30 to 50 percent increases in range in premium vehicles in the future added the commercial and technical director of Mead Battery Research Center at the University of Münster, Dr. Falco Schaphaksher. Like many other car manufacturer friends, Porsche is also investing heavily in solid-state battery technology. Its researchers believe such batteries will have 50% greater energy density and offer significantly faster charging times. Faster charging times will necessitate the development of more powerful charging stations. Charging sockets will also need active cooling so that charging capacities exceeding 500 kW can be conducted reliably. I think this is very interesting that in the next coming years we will see vehicles going 807 miles per single charge and even beyond that with the development of new technologies. This will affect Tesla as well. What do you think friends? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Tesla is demolishing and updating a production line at its Fremont factory, perhaps to roll out the mass production of one of its revised vehicle designs. New filings show. Friends, finally, Tesla's Fremont factory is getting much needed modernization so it can catch up to the newer Giga factories. Just as they stated would happen after Giga Texas is able to pick up the slack. Does anyone recall how many Model 3 lines there are in Fremont? I think they have several, but it's good that they are working on them. Tesla applied to demolish multiple equipment, tools and utilities lines at the Fremont factory on last Thursday and the timing aligns with the recent images of the Project Highland Model 3 that continue to leak. So we can say that probably Tesla is demolishing the current Model 3 line or at least one of them to prepare way uh, for a new updated Project Highland Model 3. Do you agree with this assessment? In the past we have reported on Tesla updated updating lines at Fremont after the equipment used has aged or needs to be replaced for other reasons. Tesla does not demolish entire lines with the installation of updated equipment. Instead, Tesla files the line revisions as improvements, upgrades or revisions, but not as demolitions. The demolition of a production line and the installation of a new one might suggest Tesla is moving forward with the imminent mass production of its project Highland Model 3, which has already been shown to have a vast different front end design compared to the current vehicle. Tesla could be preparing for mass production of the new Highland Model 3 with the introduction of completely new manufacturing lines. Model 3 production has taken place at Fremont factory since the car was first built in 2017. The only other factory Tesla builds the Model 3 is Giga Shanghai in China. Rumors have recently suggested Tesla would build the new Model 3 there, but Tesla denied those rumors, which points 
the finger toward the Freeman factory, hence the upgrades and modernizations in the factory's uh, Model 3 lines. Perhaps these new findings are an indication that Fremont will be the initial location for Model 3 Highland production and Tesla will begin rolling out the new design in the coming months as it prepares to update the vehicle. Updates at Fremont factory have continued to occur for months and battery manufacturing equipment has also been added or revised at the plant for several months to make way for Cybertruck pack production. So what do you think about all these developments, friends? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Today, Tesla proposed to build a new factory in India. India Gigafactory proposal. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Reuters is reporting that Tesla has proposed setting up a factory in India to build electric cars for domestic Indian sale and export. The car maker told government officials on Wednesday, according to a source with direct knowledge of the matter. This report is coming from Reuters few hours ago. The proposal from Tesla comes after India refused to agree to Tesla's request last year to lower the import tax on cars, which can reach as much as 100%. India wanted the car maker to build vehicles locally, but Tesla wanted to test the market first with imports and talks ended in deadlock. While Tesla did not discuss lower import taxes with Indian officials, it proposed setting up a new factory, albeit without specifying a location or investment, said the source, who declined to be named as the talks were private. This happened today, just a few hours ago. Making cars locally aligns with, with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's pitch to attract companies with his Make in India campaign, especially as companies look to diversify their supply chain beyond China. Senior Tesla executives are in India this week to meet the government to discuss local sourcing of parts and other issues, Reuters reported on Tuesday. Tesla met officials from Moody's office and other ministries on Wednesday, said the person and another source familiar with the matter. Tesla did not respond to Reuters' request for comment. The electric car maker's renewed interest in India comes nearly a year after it put on hold plans to sell cars in the country after failing to secure lower import taxes, which its CEO Elon Musk said are among the highest in the world. Tesla had hired a local Indian team and began a search for showroom space, but that was also abandoned last year. This is why we didn't have much news to report about Tesla India. The meeting now comes weeks after ahead of Moody's visit to the United States in June. So what do we make of this, friends? It makes sense that Tesla would give up on that at some point. India is just too big of a market not to participate. It's important. Why would you try to try? Uh, want to try it. Yes, I know prices are lower there for cars, but this is too big of a market not to participate for Tesla. In lieu of important cars in the country, now we are probably thinking that Tesla did its homework over the last year to make sure it can efficiently enter the Indian market with its own gigafactory in India. It also makes sense with cheaper Tesla vehicles coming. If Tesla builds a factory in India, it will start by producing its new, probably under $25,000 Tesla built on its next generation platform that requires much lower capital expenditure to deploy. So what do you think about India Gigafactory, friends? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel. Give us a like if you like this video.